blind tasting of celebrity whiskeys. That's right. Why blind, Daniel? Well, because, you know, you can be influenced by the actual celebrity. It's kind of the whole point <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> of celebrity whiskeys. And, you know, it's like, I'm gonna have a hard time crapping on Bob Dylan and his whiskey if I know I'm drinking Bob Dylan No, 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 me and Bob Dylan, he knows what he did. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go through here because like some celebrities you love, some celebrities you know not so much, and you're gonna have an opinion about these whiskeys before you even taste the whiskey. Yeah, like you just don't want them to be good. Right. Or you really, really want them to be good. Well, and what do we know about taste? So totally objective. <laughs> and all the experts agree. Everybody tastes the same way. The same way. Everyone knows exactly what is truly good. And nobody is ever influenced no. by things like price points no. or bottles or marketing. Yes. Okay. None of that's true. <laughs> so we're going to go in blind. We labeled these on the bottom of the glass so at the end of it we know our top three favorites. Yeah. yeah. Right? So what we put. Uh, blue pieces of tape that we cannot see. A number, and it corresponds to a number on one of the bottles. In no order, just randomly grab. This is the Cedar Ridge Distillery Sourced Slipknot Whiskey. Oh, Slipknot, the, the metal band. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, Heaven's Door Bob Dylan Whiskey. Hague Club from the soccer guy. Yeah, this one's actually pretty dated. You know, that's David Beckham. The Blackened, which was the Metallica, oh, Metallica one yeah, yeah. that they did with Dave Pickerel. Uh, this is the Wayne Gretzky Ice Cask 99. Oh. Right? The ice okay, Cask with Sweet okay. Wine Finished Canadian. Yeah. Pogues, which is the famous Irish band, the Pogues, they had their own whiskey. Proper 12. Oh, Conor McGregor. And then, of course, Matthew, all right, all uh, right, all right. 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 There's the, your. Uh, the Wild Turkey That's Long right. Dancer. And then, of course, your Lagavulin from Nick Offerman. Oh, yeah. This is a fairly new. Uh, mm -hmm. Release. Yeah, week, weeks. And then, of course, the Frank Sinatra edition. The Jack Daniels. Which is not quite the same as the rest of them. Yeah, it's just kind of a special it's edition. It's more Sinatra. of an homage. Now, you don't look. Don't You're not licking any, are you? You gave me an idea. Uh, four, five. Did you really shuffle? Oh, yeah, I did the whole time. Okay. You'll see. All right. So, going in blind. Mm hmm. Are we going to do the same one at the same time and talk about it? Uh, sure. Let's do that. Sure. Okay. Okay. You try. Mm, I know what this is. So I'm gonna just put first position. Yes, me too. This, uh, it's a bourbon. Yeah, but I think this... it's Tennessee. Cause it's got that like really clean, sure. like mo almost molasses. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. No. These are traditional flavors. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be cash strength. Low proof, maybe not basement, 40%. I would love to be proof. wrong about that being a Tennessee whiskey. It's a little bit thin though on some of the... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Generally sweet, thin, little cherry, hint of wood, but not overly dominant. Okay, second position. Second. Lock it. Oh, if you guys hear conversation. Or construction. Friends over at Modern Rug are shooting yeah. an episode on the other side of the door, and then there's construction happening on the property. This one, it's, it's candy corn. It's a slight musty funk to the nose. I got a metallic note. I was gonna say, well, look at that about yeah. Shiny metallic. I don't know if I like that one. Uh, I'm not really feeling that. We're but. gonna come and revisit these again after going all the way through them. <laughs> mm. I know what that is. <laughs> I'm not even gonna drink that one because it's gonna destroy the palate. Okay, well, we both don't even have to say anything on that one. Okay. Ah, uh, that's pot still. Blended with grain. Metallic and grainy. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be pretty young. Oh wow, that's really grain heavy Irish. Not not a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, there's, mm. it's wanting to be something, but it, I don't think it just has the age. It's, it's gonna be more, I'm getting more alcohol than I am flavor. I was gonna say, it's simultaneously really sweet and really like bright alcohol yeah, and at the, the same time. The proof is not gonna be very high on that. No, but it still tastes kind of brittle and... yeah. All right, we got a little bit more body here. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. I got medicinal cherry candy. Oh, American yeah. whiskey. This is going to yeah. be your cherry bourbon types of flavors. Yeah, but it's very thin. Hey, is this your brand? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Full laughs, aren't you? Uh, just, just a barrel. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, all right, so you ready? Hang on. That is a very thin young. Irish whiskey. Oh yeah, that is almost cotton candy sweet. I don't know if it's Irish, it could be Irish, it could be Canadian. Hold on. It's so sweet. Ah, there is a mustiness though, there is a yeah. musty character yeah, that, that I usually either. only get, that I usually get from Irish, that I don't typically get from Canadian. Oh sorry, number seven on the list. Oh, I was not expecting that. Yeah, 
No, it I'm, was on the nose, super sweet and pretty, and yeah, and it had almost, more uh, rye character. I'm saying there's rye character in that. Yeah, that was spice and yeah. barrel. The nose was sweet. Yep, but the palate was actually really good. Yeah, that was ple was uh, pleasantly surprised on that. There's there's some things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you know what? I got to do some water here. We've gotten too many whiskeys back to back. I'm starting to reset. Lose. I still have a scar right here from when I was 17 and jumped through a barbed wire fence to avoid getting caught while teeping someone's house. But I did get back to the car 30 minutes later, bleeding from like six places in my body. And you got the girl. And no, I didn't. You did she ended up dating a friend of mine. Anyway. <laughs> friend zone Whittington. Yeah. That's what they call it. <laughs> oh. I know. It's so simultaneously sharp and bland. It's, it's like, it's flat. I'm not really. It's like a penny tastes. I'm just gonna put. It's like the copper metallic taste metallic. of a penny. <laughs> Number eight. I'm just gonna write no. <laughs> yeah. Number nine. Mm, mm, all right. I wonder if they can hear Brushwood's voice in the background because it's so distinct. Probably. Oh no, there's something else in there. There's some wood note mm -hmm. in that nose. Classic bourbon. Right. With a little extra brown sugar. All right. Number ten. Mm-hmm. Here, Here we, we go. go. Oh. The nose can be misleading. Sometimes the taste is very different than a nose. Oh, you didn't start this one. You start this yeah, one. Yeah, but also, you, you drift too far. Come here. Oh. You gotta get... There you go. Oh, there you go. I don't want to cuddle. Gets, he gets so far. We're not even... He gets so far. I like my personal space. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I know, right? That's so weird. This is... I don't know what to make of that. That is weird. Weird coconut I... sweet corn rubber. Rubber on the nose. Yeah. The taste is a bit less off-putting than the, the smell. Yeah, but it's got something that would be shiny, except it's, that it's round. You know what? It's the metallic, artificial vanilla mm. finish that just stays with you. Or it's like if you tried honey, but it was in a can and it had been sitting there too long, so it took on a little bit of the characteristics of an aluminum can. Okay. Third, okay, so third my notes in number one. I wrote maybe Tennessee? Molasses, clean, and candy corn. And number one is what? This is number one. Oh, it's number one. Number one is That's number Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. Oh, number one. Ha! So it Sinatra. is Tennessee whiskey. So, okay. Good on you I with nailed the Tennessee. it. Okay. Now that uh, I put bourbon, which Tennessee it whiskey, is. it's a bourbon. Charcoal. Charcoal involved. involved. There's charcoal involved. Woody, classic. Yeah. Uh, classic flavors. Really, really drinkable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I that's I had a hash mark next to this one as one that I actually dug. I wrote five hash marks next to my five five that I could like I could reasonably drink this and enjoy it. But let's go with what was in place number two. All right, place what was in place number two. number two? Position number two was Hague Club. There it is, Hague Club. Oh yeah, I wrote musty funk, candy corn, shiny and metallic. I wrote, uh, oh look, Hague. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so metallic. And I said metallic as well. What is this categorized as? It's grain whiskey. A grain, just a it's grain a sing, whiskey. It's a, yeah, it's a single grain scotch. Okay. Number three was Lagavulin. Yep. Anyway, I just need a sip of that because I, Passed on drinking it. We recently did a review on our other channel. We like it. Um, yeah, we did like it. I'll, I'll link the Whiskey Vault review we did of that whiskey. I think it was like a week or two ago. All right, number four. Nine? Nine. Pogues, that no, makes way more sense so, to me. So number four, right. I wrote down thin, young, grain. I uh, put Irish pot still mixed I did not, with high grain. I did not like this. I said if I had to pick one of the Irish ones, Irish. this was the one that I like. Five. Number five, Fifth I put position. no medicinal candy cherry, water wood, and thin. So this was really. Oh no! Wait, Don't I gotta try it again now. Don't worry, I got your back, That's Matthew. Good. It's all right, all right, all right. <laughs> now that you know it's McConaughey, do you like it better? Yes. Celebrity whiskey works. I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me go. What back did you here. write? Uh, bourbon classic. Yeah, I wrote that. Uh, a home. Oh, Kinda cherry, like... cherry. I got bourbon classic cherry. That's... Number five. <laughs> Do it. You got right in the, in the middle of my nose. <laughs> I invited you to come over. Yeah. And I, just I did. You just stab me in the face. Okay. It does taste a little better when you know it's Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought this was decent. I thought it was a, a nice uh, cherry presentation. A little thinner than I was expecting. And then it's got that wood. This is number oh, two. All right, all right, so we're moving on to number... Number two. Sixth position. Proper, Proper 12. 12. Okay. Yeah, I wrote Irish whiskey. Conor McGregor. Shiny, bright candy, and cotton candy. Irish 
young, very thin, yep, and just a general sweetness and watery. So at least, I wrote water. At least we were able to pick out it was Irish. Yeah. Uh, number seven position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I put this as I could do this one. Uh, sweet molasses and then rye spice and wood. Okay. So number seven was what right here. I think this is blackened. This is going to be the whiskey that Metallica did with yeah. the late, great Dave Pickerel. I feel pretty good about my ability to pick these out of the list. What did I put? Nice, nice rice spice. Rice. Yeah. And this is, if you remember, yep. straight whiskeys finished in black brandy casks. Okay, all right, all right. And so, yeah, you do get that sweet molasses, but you still get the bright woody spice notes. Right. That was one that I said, yes, I could do that. Yep. Okay, now we're on to eight, which I wrote down either Irish or Canadian. And very, very sweet. I Metallic penny note. I just wrote down, no. It's a uh, five. Number oh, nine. you did not like the slip knot. I'm not feeling the slip knot. Yeah, me either. Man, I really, I really dug their music back in the day. You know why I wanted it to be good? Because in my shell I wait and bleed. Well, I wanted it to be good because I like Cedar Ridge who made this whiskey. Okay. I like what they're doing. And I wanted it to be good. There's, there's just... Some type of like a to your point a copper metallic like a mm -hmm. penny type. There's this note that stays with you. It lingers. I'm not really digging that. Okay. Okay. Number nine. I wrote. Hey, I could do this one, and I would bet everything I have left that this is the Heaven's Door. Heaven's Bam. Door. Yes. Okay. That was. I could totally. I wrote an exclamation point next to this one. Uh, Classic bourbon and brown sugar. Yeah. I wrote Tennessee down. bourbon. Here's the thing. None of these American whiskey celebrity uh, bottlings here. Mm -hmm. None of them are coloring outside the lines. No. They are often... Right in the middle. Often going in the middle, thinned down notes, mm -hmm. and often young. Yes. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel, giving a low proof, and quite frankly, probably meeting most people where they're at with their preferences in terms of how much alcohol is in there. Yeah. Now, the last one, I wrote a lot of notes, and I really, really didn't like it. I Well, I put down weird like a coconut sweetness. This is probably, after I just got finished saying, everybody's going right down the middle of the road. With mm. their, this is probably the most unique. Yes, it is. Weird and different. But not in ways that I like. Not yet. Yeah, this is number of our Doretsky, because the ice wine finish, it's I'm, so sweet. I'm always down for a funky adventure. Yeah. This is going into territory that's not really my scene. Mm -mm. The All right, so. Give me your top three. Well, I mean, it's Lagavulin. Right, me too. The Metallica blackened. Me too. Okay, and then and the then I would have either put right. Heaven's Door right. or Sinatra. You're not wrong. Well, now which one is it then? Uh, Bob Dylan or Frank Sinatra? Oh, which side are you on? It's in Versailles. I need some whiskey, and I put it in the bottle, <laughs> and I was drinking in the Tennessee You're heat of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's create. <laughs> A master celebrity blend. Proprietary blend. Proprietary blend. Do we just dump them all in or do we try to like mix it? No, there's dude, there's just so many. Okay. Thin, weird, metallic. There's no way. And you know, no matter what happens, dumping that log of one in there. It's gonna it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna change so it. Guesses into what it turns into. Grain heavy, slight wood, a smoke that lingers even though it's buried. Alright. That's my guess. Okay. Right? Bright, shiny, grain heavy, right? A little bit of wood spice, and then the smoky note that you would think sh is you know it's there, right? But it's struggling to get out. Now, can you pour without dribbling? Is the question. Oh, like a champ. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> never mind, <laughs> dude. This tastes exactly like all of the things I just said. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ah, uh, right? That's pretty much it. Uh-huh. Now. I'm just saying. I think we should call this the red carpet. <laughs> and on the back of the bottle it says, it matches the drapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>